Hello friends, how are we doing? How are we doing? I missed Sunday upload, I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry. Actually, no, I'm not sorry. I had a really good time this past weekend. Also had a few things happening that I will share in another video, kind of like catch up with me type of video. But for today, we're gonna talk about bras. We're gonna talk bras. So this will be for the ladies. Ladies, let's talk bras. So if you're not one, Good up, okay? Disclaimer, I'm not like showing anything. Okay, I'm not gonna be like boobs out, everything out. But I'm gonna try them on and show you the material, the fit, and then we're gonna do a wear test. Also, I realized that this is the same shirt that I was wearing in my previous video, but we're just gonna pass on through and never mind that detail, okay? Now, Kapua, why bras? Well, I have been using the same bra for the past, I'd like to say six years, and I think it's time for a little step up, if you will, a little upgrade, okay? So I've decided to replace me getting my nails done and getting a pedicure, chucking that out the window for the month of May and investing in a good, a good bra. So if you wanna watch, just stick around. Okay, so the brand is called third love now i have done my fair share of victoria's secret bra shopping i'm just not a bra connoisseur okay this is not I'm not trying to be a bra expert or anything here but i know that if the girls aren't sitting good then i'm not sitting good <laughs> now why third love instagram ads is why it just they just get you you know artificial intelligence man they just the algorithm oh you want to see a bra do you you're looking for a bra let me just blast you a million times over with all of these different brands and thus third love came along there was a few other brands that i was looking at but i don't know for some reason this specific one caught my eye i like them i don't know i like the style i just the first time i looked at them i was like yeah that looks like comfort that looks like a dream for my booby areas. So that's why I chose Third Love. Let's see, I ordered it on, a moment, I'm charging my phone. I ordered it on 4-14, so April 14th, and it got here on Thursday, this past Thursday, today's Tuesday, so exactly a week on the 21st. Now, before we get into the unboxing, I figured I'd take you down memory lane of the five bras that I currently own. The only five bras that I own in my collection. Okay, because each one has a story behind them. So let's take a little trip down memory lane. <laughs> okay, including the one that I have on, that's one, two, three, four, five. That's all that I have. Because I just never felt confident enough to know my size. And then, you know, when you get pregnant and you need breastfeed, or in my case, tried breastfeeding and failed. Boobs get bigger, boobs get smaller. So I just, you know, and then the whole measuring thing, I don't know, I just get insecure about things sometimes and then I just like 86 the idea and I'm like, forget it. Like, you'll just be uncomfortable forever. But not today, okay, but not today. First of all, let me just start with probably the most recent one that I've purchased is this one. This one is by Target and it's the Alden brand and I got it in the size 40D. Now, I don't know why all of a sudden when I just grabbed this and I looked at it and it looked so uncomfortable. I don't know why I didn't think the same way when I first picked it up in store. Anyway, so on the bottom here, it's like, it's lined. No, yeah, it's lined. It has like this whatever material here, but I can already tell because I have a little, you know, I have a tummy here and it slants upward and then my boobs point down. But the reason why I say that is because I already know that this is going to fold. It's going to fold under because it's the way that my opu is slants up and then my boobs kind of lay on top. So that's why looking at it now, I'm like, gosh, you look really uncomfortable. Second thing is there are no wires in this. So it's wire free, but it seems like there's a little bit of structure here in the middle, but no wire. To be honest though, when I first put it on, I tried wearing it all day and it was just uncomfortable. Or is it like, you know, when you first wear a bra, is it like your first pair of like Air Force Ones or something or a new pair of shoes, like you gotta break them in? Is that kind of how it is with bras too? Because this thing, 
I, I don't know. I felt like I was just, it, it held them up, all right? I mean, they were secure, um, but when I would sit down and when I would go and do things, it was just uncomfortable. No, I get it. I get that part too. There are different bras for different functions, but I, you know, I, I would like a bra that kind of does everything. I, I do know that a bra with push-up would give a little bit more of something. And then you have strapless and you have all those different styles. But for an everyday type of thing, this is not it. This is not it. So I have to return it. Next, Skims. Mm -hmm. During Vlogmas, I'll link it up here for the unboxing and the review, trying all the things on there if you want to check it out. This, uh, I can't remember what the name of this style is. Is it on the tag here? I cut the tag off, so I don't know, I don't know what the style is. But check out that video for um, a try on if you want to check it out. This has a wire on the bottom. The reason why I picked this one up was one, because it looked comfortable. Two, was because of this in, let me try, <laughs> good night cuts like this so it's good for racerback tank tops which i have been really liking i've been a little bit more confident with my chicken wings and my chicken arms but this style bra helps not being seen but yet still having support wearing racerback tank tops is what we call them and it's completely open back so the back is like a regular bra but then the front is like this the thing is your nips are still going to show through so because the material is ribbed it's really nice and it's really soft but that's the thing it'll completely show through your top it'll show through this i will lounge around the house if i'm just home all day in this by itself because it's it's just that convenient um but your nips will show through so nipple pads or whatever 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 it is that you need to cover them up second you see this here that's a problem. This was almost going to be the reason why I was going to return this bra was because when you wear it, look, look, it cuts my arm here. It's not uncomfortable, but it bothers me. I'm just, I don't like, I don't like return them now though because well, I can't return it because it's too late. But just keep that in mind. The sizing on this is from small to what, 4X. I mean, it works. I haven't been wearing it recently because of this issue but i know that once i put it on it i i just i deal with it and it's okay and it's a good bra what was this like 50 bucks <laughs> the one from target was like 20 something okay this whole thing doesn't even look like a bra at this point joe boxer this is from joe boxer a circa 2005 four i don't know i think it might have been during our trip to Hilo that was in like 2002 girl so I don't know if this one has been riding with me since then but uh she, she's just broken in all different places I mean she's just she's ready to go but I don't know I just never thought to get rid of her <laughs> get rid of it so this is why I keep old bras like this because I just I'm cheap and I don't have time and I could spend it on makeup you know what I'm saying so Joe Boxer I don't even know it doesn't even have a tag anymore but of course, what caught my eye was this puka puka material. <laughs> this rubbish material. Oh my gosh. And then it has adjustable straps in the back here. But yeah, I if this review goes well, she's going. Chuck in. Bye. Last but not least, this girl has been to the ringer. Okay, I don't want no judgment and no comments. I don't want no dislikes for this one right here. For this MVP. For this goat of a bra because she has held she's held her own it is the uh victoria's secret i don't even know i don't even know what is this style victoria's secret victoria's secrets oh it's called push-up oh very sexy push-up i cannot find this specific line of bra ever I, I i've never been able to find it i don't know what they do they rename they rebrand put another name on it but this was probably no this was the most um, tried and true bra ever for me and I'm happy that I picked it up when I did I have two I have one in the nude color that's all your rare ready grief oh lord I think I did and I think I know why because one of the hooks busted this is the very sexy push-up and it is in the size mm -hmm, mm, 38d so like I said I picked this up way before i left for the mainland to go to bible school so that was before 20 2013 or maybe like 2010 
I think I was like a senior in high school. It's been 10 years since I've been in high school. So that'll tell you how long I've had it. Uh, and she's falling apart. Okay, she is falling apart. The, the seams is ripping off. I mean, you can literally see the inside of it. I mean, she's just twisted in all different directions. But there's something about the way that this just like, I, I don't know. First of all, it's wired. Okay, I don't know how, what kind of padding they have so that you can hardly even feel the wire. I mean, you can still feel it, but when you are doing daily tasks, I never have to adjust this once. I mean, I have to now because it's like falling apart. Doing things around the house, I never have to adjust it. I would totally go back and buy this brand, this style of bra from Victoria's Secret, but I can't find it. I can't find it. All the other ones that I've looked for that's similar to this, they all have padding or some type of push-up. This one pushes up, but it has no chicken cutlet padding in this. I'm, I'm very sad. This is probably why I have been holding on to this one for so long because it just does the job. It's giving what it's supposed to give even 10 years later. Even after I had baby or during my pregnancy, after I had baby. This thing just fit like a glove. I don't know if it was because it's just been through the rigor so many times that it just molded itself to my boobs, but it just worked. And so very sexy push up. Victoria's Secret, hear me and hear me clear. Bring it back. Y'all got all the fancy laces, all the fancy push ups, all the fancy t-shirt bras and all the fancy thongs and things. Keep what is good. Okay, listen to your customers and keep what's good, okay? Go ahead over there, girl. <laughs> and you too, skin. Bye. All right, let's get into the unboxing. Ugh. I also have the one that I have on now, which I don't know where I got this one from. Ross, I think, but it's nothing special. I mean, it just, it's like second skin kind bra. It's just there for moral support. <laughs> There's no padding or anything to help with coverage or anything like that. It's just like this material. So it's comfy. I chucked the little padding in there because you know, when you put them through the wash and you gotta adjust, it's not a good time. What you could do actually, I thought of this after I threw them out, was take them out of the bra and just stick them closest to the skin in the bra, but you can adjust it, you know what I'm saying? Inside the bra, touching your skin. I'm sure you're gonna have to adjust it throughout the day, but at least you won't have to worry about you know, the little hole there and you gotta pull it and then tighten it and all that kind of stuff, so. Okay, let's get into the review. Like I said, ordered it on the 14th. It came in on the 21st, so one week. If you're in Hawaii, I'm on Oahu. Hopefully it takes not longer for you. Maybe it'll come in faster. Wait, is it just this one? Oh, there we go. So I ordered two. They're both in black. Let's see. Oh snap. The breast bra is one you never think about. Amen to that. Amen to that. Oh snap. Oh my. Please fit good. Please fit good. Oh please Jesus please. First impressions. Comfy. Cloud. Heavenly. Soft. Plush. Luxe. Luxury. Sexy. Boom boom pow is what I'm saying. Okay. Whew. Ooh, okay. It's giving padding, it's giving wire, but not, doesn't seem to be an uncomfortable wire. Oh yeah. That's a nice little chicken cutlet in there. And yeah, this one is also wired too, but also very squish and very comfortable. The lining back here reminds me a lot of that Victoria, my Victoria one. Very soft, silky, and smooth. Whoa, look at these straps, y'all. Can you see how that strap is like lined? Ooh, girl. Okay. Oh, and it's padded even by the hooks, too. Now, I got them both in the size. Okay, I got this one in 40D. I got this one in 40E. I did go to Victoria's Secret a couple weeks ago to get measured again, and they said I was between a 38 triple D or a 40D. This one is called the 24 seven classic t-shirt bra. And that's the one with that bumpy, bumpy straps. And it comes like this, a small wire. It's not, doesn't feel very thick. And this little number here is called the 24 seven classic uplift plunge bra. 
yeah and this one is lay what is this like fishnet material lace that's not lace it's cute it's very cute what is this oh it's their emblem right there that gold piece there now when i first went onto the website my only intention was to get one one bra and it was what is this the classic t-shirt bra this was the one that i was gonna get period i wasn't gonna get any other and then i saw that one i'm doing it i might as well just get another because i was pretty confident that it would fit well and it would be good so that's why i got two. Oh god did i really spend this much or they're both 68 dollars so all together 113 dollars and 94 cents now how did i get a discount i got like a 30 dollar discount oh i think it's because when you spend a certain amount then you get something off i don't know but i got 27 dollars and 20 cents off so hallelujah to that and tax it came out to 113.94 so an investment i'm willing to make in the girls i mean this is the amount that i would pay for like a pedicure and a mani so it's fine it's fine let's try them on i'm not gonna try them on, on camera i'm gonna go right over here and try them on. which one shall we try first let's try the one that i initially went to the website to get so i want to try on the classic t-shirt bra i'm gonna go right over here in front of the mirror i'm gonna keep the camera rolling so you can hear my reaction okay <laughs> brb I said I don't prefer you. I'm putting it on the very first hook. <laughs> oh wow. Oh wow. Oh gosh, that fits like a glove. Holy mackerel. Whoa. Okay. Here I come. I'm putting on my IKEA pants. That is night and day compared to when I put on the Target bra. Yikes! That's amazing. Okay, here I come. <laughs> Adjust, adjust. Come on. Come on. Back. <laughs> I don't think you understand how incredible this feels and how you see that fit? You see no gap, nothing. It's completely laying flat on my skin. That is a perfect fit and I'm all for it. And it, nice yeah no seriously this is great this oh ow <laughs> um i could probably like adjust the sh strap like loosen it just a little bit because it's a little it's not like it's not bothering me like it's not bothering me that it's a little snug up here but i'm sure with a little wear not too much tear no no tear at all not for 68 dollars this will be just fine oh okay well clearly they're they're lifted i mean compared to that cloth that i was wearing yeah 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 they're sitting they're sitting all right period next let's try on the push-up i wonder if this one will be a little bit more loose here at the strap like i won't have to adjust the straps because it's a 40e oh gosh again i'm putting it on the furthest hook so this one okay the one furthest out this one only has two hooks compared to the other. It has three. <laughs> oh, mamas. Huh. Okay, okay. Here I come. The moment I wake up before I put on makeup, makeup, I say a little before you. I've been watching Sing Too Too Much. Okay. Looks great to me. One thing though gap right here see that right, let me just stand regular now i don't know if that's because i sized up and i went i got a 40e i don't know if it would be any closer to my skin if i had gotten the d but because it's a push-up i figured maybe no actually i didn't think that i don't know but i think it's it's good i think they're sitting really nicely <laughs> yeah they're up they're lifted i gotta put the shirt on uh this is what the this is what the back looks like let me just stand regular so you can see. Ding dong, ding it, ding it, ding it, ding it. Well, I will say this though. I don't feel like I have to adjust the straps at all. I don't like the other one. It was a little tight. Kinda, not too much. It was kinda squish. This one I don't feel like I have to. But I do have that gap here. So I'm thinking, can I get both? Can I not feel like I have to adjust the straps and also not have the gap? 
what size would that be? So what, a 40 double D, right? I don't know. But I'll say this, it, it just, it feels really nice. They both went on really nicely. They're fitting like a glove. I mean, even if I do have that little gap here, I don't think that's gonna be much of a problem. Because if I have to deal with that piece of lovely trash that's falling apart for the past 10 years, I can deal with this. I can deal with this. And also I don't wanna go through the hassle of returning. So let's try the shirt on. <laughs> I'll do a side-by-side -side edit of like sideway view, me wearing the t-shirt push-up bra or the t-shirt bra and this push-up bra. Even though this one is essentially the one branded as a push-up bra, but I mean putting that one on, it did a little bit of a push-up too, I feel like, or at least covered them well and made it seem like they were being pushed up or something. No. I don't know, they look the same to me. I don't feel like there's any more of a difference from this one and that one. What do you think? God, this feels great. This feels like paw, okay? She feels secure. Now it's deciding which bra I wear.